Oh my goodness, I am here at my first national convention. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I should take some pictures for the girls back home. Oh, oh. selfie. Oh. Gertie, Gertie, come here. I want to take a picture for the church website. Gertie, Gertie, Gertrude. Come on, there's so much to see. Listen, kiddo. This is Lexington, not the Kentucky Derby. I know. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see. I know that, Marcy, but you got to learn to pace yourself. I know, but I'm just so excited that we got to meet this year. I realize that, dear, but... You know, when you've been coming to these conventions for over fi for as long as I have, <laughs> you gotta learn to plan things out or you're gonna run out of steam. I know, but I just can't believe that you asked me to be your alternate delegate. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't believe that they really said we didn't have to wear masks. If I'd had to follow you around with that mask on, I'd have sucked that thing halfway down my throat. <laughs> now, Gert. Okay, now you can go ahead. <sighs> Gertie, I mean, it's not that bad. And last night was so great. I was moved to tears to the opening worship. I mean, Communing with that many Lutherans? Oh. Oh, hey, have you been able to meet any of your friends? Well, not really. What, what do you mean, not really? Well, we decided that we should all wear some distinctive apparel. <laughs> so we could find each other. I mean, to just look for a gray-haired lady with glasses wearing purple does not narrow it down. So I decided that we should all wear purple socks. Socks? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, it's a great idea, Dirty, but I do have a question for you. Why do you keep poking people as we walk past them? I'll be honest. Uh -huh. I thought this was going to be a virtual convention. No. Where everybody was just holographs. <laughs> well, so I keep poking them to see if they're real. Well, Gertie, I am ready to experience every part of this real convention. Hey, do you want to go check out the exhibits with me? Oh, oh, wait, we have to have a plan of attack. Of attack? Yes, okay, here, here. Here's the exhibits. All right, I've marked out the whole route so that we don't miss anything. Now listen to me. You go in the doors, you go right, you go directly to your left. Uh -huh. Go back to that back corner. Yeah. They always have all the good chocolates because nobody's gotten to them yet. Oh. <laughs> all right, and then you just follow my route okay. and take, oh, wait, wait. Here's your red marker. Um, why? Well, okay. This is the arena map. Uh. Now, mark down all the women's bathrooms. <laughs> Especially the ones in the out of the way places. Okay, and the shortest route there. Uh, oh, listen, dear. As you get older, these maps become very important. <laughs> oh, and uh, mark the men's bathrooms, too, with an X. Okay. Oh, only if the door says, for women's use only. Made that mistake in Mobile. <laughs> That poor pastor. <laughs> uh, 
bless his heart. I mean, I heard that Pastor Jenks still hasn't recovered. <laughs> uh, uh, this is great and all, but can't we kind of be open to doing something spontaneous? Spontaneous? Yeah. Listen, lady, these are rules passed down through LWML for years. You do not mess with proven tradition. Whoa, are you taking notes? No, 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 I'm just texting some girls from back home. This explains so much why we have two separate groups in our church. Well, I'm glad you're open to all this wisdom. So, okay, we need to get going because we don't have much time at the exhibits before the luncheons. Oh, the luncheons. Oh, perfect, perfect. I want to make sure that I have plenty of time to get to the luncheons. I'm going to go to the first timer's luncheon. I'm so excited. President Debbie is going to be talking. Oh, I think I'm going to try to get a picture with her. You know, Gert, I could probably Photoshop you in the photo. Oh, honey, you don't have to shop for photos for me. <laughs> I'll just get one of yours. Seriously? Okay, well, let me see um, the info luncheons. Oh, what luncheon are you going to? Oh, I'm going to Lutheran Hour Ministries. Been my favorite since I was a kid. So, Marcy, when we head out, we get... Marcy? <sighs> that kid, if she doesn't slow down... I'm going to have to rein her in and teach her the ropes. Oh, oh, well, I better get going if I'm going to find my friends. I've got to get a seat that has a good dessert. What am I talking about? I've got to look for purple socks. It's a good thing we're running a little ahead of schedule. It's a large arena, but I don't think they knew where they were going. That luncheon was so great. I learned so much. Have you ever been to the first timers luncheon? Well, uh, no. When they started having them, I no longer qualified. Well, let me tell you everything that I learned. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Ramona, one second. Hey, it's my friend Ramona from church. Let me talk to her, okay? You're talking to your watch. Uh, yeah, I know. Just, yeah. Hold on. Ramona. Oh, wait a minute. There's my phone anyway. I bet it's my sister, Frida. Oh, hey, Ramona. Yeah, everything's going good. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Um, oh, today was the special interest luncheons. Info luncheons, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I went to the first timers luncheon. I am telling you, I am so happy that I did. There was just, uh, it was great. Hello, Frida? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, everything's going pretty good. Well, I went to the wrong luncheon today. <laughs> It was late, so I just went in the first open door and sat down at a table. 
I was supposed to go to Lutheran Hour Ministries. It was something about loud tables and messy children. I don't know. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, well, I was really nervous. I couldn't find it. This place is so big. And when I got there, I was really nervous. And I went in and I found that there was younger people and older people and all in between. And there wasn't much room because I was late. So there was one spot left at the very front table. And so I scurried up there. And you will never guess who was at my table. It was President Debbie. Well, I thought it was a little odd that I seemed to be the oldest person there. <laughs> Frida, I was at the Young Women Representative Luncheon. <laughs> oh, President Debbie is so great. And she has a true passion for the LWML. Anyways, um, we ate lunch, and then she told us her LWML journey, and she told us some facts about the LWML and some history, too, that I didn't know. Well, I couldn't leave. I had already eaten all my food. <laughs> Plus two unclaimed desserts. <laughs> so I just kept my mouth shut and listened. It was like a foreign language. <laughs> no, no, no. She didn't use all that LWML lingo that they use in our meetings. I mean, that's like a whole nother language. Luckily, she translated everything into common words for us. Well, yes, I could understand when they exchanged email addresses. But then they talked about who Twittered and who had snappy chats, <laughs> and who wanted to spend time in each other's faces. Yeah, I thought about that. But then President Debbie said something that really made me stop and pause. Change is not a bad word. Yeah, and then she said, we really have to think of new ways to get more women involved. Well, I tell you, Frida, these women were different. I mean, they all had full-time jobs, or they homeschooled their kids, or during the pandemic, they worked from home and homeschooled their kids. I tell you, the one thing that surprised me, though, is they almost to a woman said they wish they had more time for Bible study. So I got ready to tell them that we found that Thursday mornings always worked well for us. You know, I thought about that. And then, you know, we just have to think of some ways to take this organization that we love and upgrade it to the 21st century. Well, the young, uh, former YWR said to them that maybe they could have an evening Zoom Bible study. How do you Zoom through a Bible study? <laughs> oh, you mean on their computers at home? Well, then how do you make a treat when you're having a Bible study at home? <laughs> oh, you know, you're right. I should probably ask Gert. She's been involved for a long time. <laughs> I bet you she has some tips. You're right. I should probably ask Marcy for a translation. Jeez, I feel like I'm living in a King James version of the world. Yeah, I mean, Gertie's doing great. Everything's fine. She just keeps telling me to slow down, but I can't. There's so much to see, so much to do, not to mention people to hug and meet. Well, Frida, I will talk to her if I can ever get a hold of her. If I can get her to slow down to a canter from a gallop. <laughs> I tell you, did we have this much energy at our first convention? 
Oh, hey, I've got to let you go now. I hear the singing starting, and so I've got to get back to my seat. Oh, I've got to go, Frida. I've got to find the shortest line to the bathroom before the next meeting. <laughs> Talk, Talk to, to you, you soon. soon. It is time once again to be <laughs> to be interrupted. Her love for God's word is so evident. And she, I, I would not have cut her out. She was wonderful. Good morning. Oh. Are you all rested up and raring to go this morning? I learned long ago, you don't come to an LWML convention to get rested. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want you to know that I caught up with all my purple sock friends last night. And one really strange guy. Oh. <laughs> so we went up to Hilda's room, and oh my gosh, we sat up laughing and reminiscing and talking until it was the, uh, late. You stayed up late? I'll have you know that two YWRs came to our room to ask us to quiet down so they could get some sleep. Well, that is amazing. You know, I met up with some of my friends I met at the first timers luncheon, and oh, we just talked about how great yesterday was. And Linda Riser's keynote address that gave us so much inspiration when she talked about having mountaintop experiences at convention and how Jesus calls us to do our work in the valleys. It made me stop and think. Why couldn't our work in the valleys be both fun and engaging. From there, my mind just started racing with ideas. I think that we need to rethink how we do business meetings. I mean, I know that the elected officials, they could take care of most of everything, and then if it's something that they need everybody's opinion on, we could have a small business meeting, and that's just gonna give us so much time for servant activities. Oh, and the Bible studies. The Bible studies, I mean, Heidi has made us realize that being in the Word is our true focus. So I was thinking that, you know, being a working mom, I'm in enough meetings between school and my kids and kids' school. Uh, I, I just really think that we need to rethink those business meetings. Well, that's well and fine, but it's not very practical. Who's going to do all the work around church if it's not us women? The men? <laughs> I think I'm getting a migraine. Oh, now, Gert, shouldn't we be, be more like Mary and less like Martha? Well, I think Martha has gotten a bad rap. If she hadn't made lunch for Jesus and all the disciples, they would have had to order carry out from Ishmael's burger barn. Now, Gert, calm down. And who's gonna do all the funeral lunches? 
We are known around the county for our pimento cheese sandwiches <laughs> on white bread cut into perfect little triangles. Do you mean the dead spread? brothers and I called it growing up, the dead spread, because that's what you eat at funeral luncheons. So you're saying that everything we women do is not important? No, no, no. I'm just saying that we need to find a balance. I mean, come on, even you have to agree that the 45-minute emergency group meeting after church last month to discuss the new color of the kitchen towels was a bit much. Well, it wouldn't have taken so long if they'd have just taken my suggestion <laughs> of a crisp cotton blend in the proper color for the liturgical season. Or if y'all would have let our group find a good deal on some kitchen towels at Costco or on Amazon. Wait a minute. Are we actually arguing about the right way to do LWML? Or do we just think that only we know how to run the race? We're not exactly serving the Lord with gladness, are we? <laughs> no, but that's something we can talk about later. Uh, but you know, I have an idea, Gertie. Let's get back to our seats and listen to the mites in action speaker. I'll wager, I guess, that he'll get us back on track. You get it? You get it? Well, I suppose this old gray mare could learn a few new tricks. You, you need, need to, to get, get more sleep. sleep. Now we'll proceed. Marcy, Marcy, oh, Marcy, Marcy, where are, where oh, is that there. woman? I am so Gertie. excited to tell her my, I, Gertie, 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 Gertie. Oh, there you are, there you are. I've been trying to find you after the luncheons. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. See, I realized one of the mites in action speaker, Gary Tease huh? from Mission Central, he and I went to school together. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I was about as, uh, we went to school together. <laughs> so I snuck into his luncheon and boy, howdy, did it get my creative juices going. <gasps> Wait till you hear my oh, idea. Oh, I'm so happy you did because I've got some great ideas too. Can I go first, please, 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 please? All right, but mine's gonna be the winner. <sighs> okay, so I get that business meetings are important. But the younger ladies, they want to serve. So I started talking to a few ladies, and they gave me some great ideas. I think that we need to host a baby shower. <gasps> Not for me! <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we do like the cake, the punch, the presents, the whole nine yards, and then all the gifts that we get go straight to a local pregnancy center. And then, you can. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. And then I also was thinking about the fleece blankets for Lutheran World Relief. I mean, for years, your group has so graciously cut the strips for us. 
and our group has tied them after our business meetings. But what if next month we just have treats and stuff and we get our groups together and make the blankets together. We could watch like a Netflix Christian movie or you know, just kind of have some fellowship and you know, get to know each other. Well, that's not a bad idea, but, but I have the one that's the real winner. Oh yeah? Yes, I began to realize, Marcy, that I need to get more technologically savvy if that's what our young women understand and are enthused about, that's what I want to get to know, too. I, I recently mastered my VCR, so... VCR? So I'm pretty sure I'm ready for the next step. Marcy, I'm going to step into the modern world with an idea that will revolutionary, revolutionize every LWML group. It is going to streamline a, a, a process that has, that has frustrated LWML women everywhere, and it will free them up to share the gospel. Girl, uh-huh. do you want to know how your life is going to about to dramatically change? I'm not so sure. Good. Here it is. I am going to do a series of podcasts. Podcast. You mean podcast? No, I mean potcast. Because they're going to be about kitchens. <laughs> kitchens? Yes. Listen, Marcy. I am going to do podcasts for every church in our district. I am going to teach every LWML woman how to organize her home kitchen the utensils, the pots and pans, everything, and her church kitchen, so it looks exactly like the kitchen in our church. (laughs) Just think, every LWML home and every Lutheran church in our district with exactly the same kitchen. (laughs) Done the right way. The LWML way. (laughs) No, this is just a great idea. And once we're done with our district, I am going to spread my podcasting arms. Someday, a young YWR will be able to walk into any church kitchen in all 50 states including Alaska and Hawaii. (laughs) And that young woman will know exactly where to find a spatula. (laughs) Oh, I know, dear. Someday you're going to have a technologically advanced idea, too. Marcy? Marcy? Oh, I think somebody may have to go rest a bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You are just so overwhelmed with enthusiasm. How are you feeling today? Oh, you know, after that meal and that entertainment tonight, last night, I am back on my mountaintop experience. Oh, when they started talking about her dad and his story, 
And then they played, may the circle be unbroken. Oof! But you know, I saw you having a good time too, young lady. Well, I was tapping my toes a little bit. <laughs> oh, it was more than your toes. I saw you get up out of your seat and dance a jig. Well, that's just the music my sister and I grew up on. Oh, if Frida had been here, we'd have been out there dancing like fools. <laughs> but I have to apologize, Marcy, for being so stubborn this weekend. I guess at my age, everything seems to be changing around me so fast. I, I find myself clinging to things that are familiar and, and solid and unchanging. I guess this past year rattled me more than I realized. But Gert, this past year, it rattled all of us. I mean, the foundation of LWML is solid and unchanging because Jesus Christ is unchanging. Uh, I mean... Just think of all those mission grants that we've supported over the years. When others thought it couldn't be done, we have been blessed by Christ because he wants to share his word of salvation around the world. Us younger women, we don't want to change that. We simply just want to find new ways to reach others. I realize that now. In fact, I... I thought back to my first convention. When I came back, I asked the women if we could use the NIV version instead of the King James. You should have seen the look on those women's faces. Why, you wild rebel, you. That's what my mother said. <laughs> but you know, those ladies, as stubborn as they were about kitchen towels. At every Bible study after that, they let me read from the NIV. Ooh. They realized that if we wanted to keep this organization going, they had to give a young whippersnapper like me a chance to serve. They understood that everything we do is about Jesus. Hey, that's like that Bible verse that we had the first night. You know, that's part of our thing. Wait, 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 where is wait, it in my... Wait. Let me find it on my phone, on the LWML app. Did you know it has a Bible section? On your phone? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. The Old Testament. I know, but you see, this is very Old Testament times, Gertie because you have to scroll through your scriptures. Well, just read it. Okay, here it is, here it is. Hebrews chapter 12, verses one and two. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Amen. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured on the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. That's it. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. And I was just worried about running the race my way. I'm sorry about that harebrained idea about podcasting. I mean, no apologies are needed, but Gert, I kind of think you were on to something great. You want me to reorganize the kitchens of the world? Oh, no. Definitely not. But um, what if you and I did a Bible study together on Zoom or Facebook Live? Ramona and I, we could set it up and even our shut-in members could participate. Yeah. And, you know, 
since, if we could do it, you know, on a weeknight instead of during the daytime or the weekends, that would be better. I mean, for a working mom like me, <laughs> those times are just too busy. Do you really think we could do that? Oh, absolutely. And since it would be virtual and you could turn your camera on your computer off, you could dig into God's word in your PJs. In my PJs? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I gotta buy some new pajamas. Oh, Anchor, one more thing. I think this is really important. I think we need to really start personally inviting ladies to come to the LWML events. I always put it in the bulletin. I know, I know, but several of the ladies I talked to this week, and they said they got involved because somebody personally asked them. One lady even told me an LWL member came to pick her up for the event. It's the connection that the women love. Hey, I could invite that new lady whose family just came to church, and I could ask her to pick me up. <laughs> How's she going to say no to that? I, I don't know, but I do know when our two groups, groups start working together to serve the Lord with gladness, whew, we better get ready because he is going to give us lots of opportunities to serve. I tell you, girl, we're going back to our valley with whole new attitudes and ideas. Hey, I got an idea. A good way to show the ladies in our two groups that we are now working together. We are new people. Let's change our church names to Grace and Mercy. How about that, Mercy? <laughs> you know, Grace, let's just work on finding our seats for closing worship. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Do you still have that map with the shortest route to the bathroom? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>